I love Sweden because it gave me an opportunity. I hate it because at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. It is a beautiful day out and I'll be honest, I kind of miss kind of coming down here to do vlogs, getting out and about, getting outdoors, getting some fresh air. Not a lot of that these days. But today's video topic, I wanted to talk about something that had me thinking a lot the last little bit, kind of recapping some of my final thoughts about Sweden. You know, Sweden is one of those relationships, it's kind of like that girl, you know, you go out and hang out with her a lot. She's fun and, and she's outgoing and a little bit crazy sometimes, but you also, you hate her because she's also crazy and she's just a lunatic. You're a lousy kindergarten teacher. I've seen those finger paintings you bring home and they suck. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean that. You know Happy's gonna make everything okay. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship to say the least. Honestly, I can't wait to go back to Sweden if I get the opportunity to do so. Swedish women are amazing. You know, living in a country that is so open, so beautiful. The hockey's good. The hockey's a different kind of game. It's a lot more of a finesse game. Guys holding the puck. Guys holding on to it for a lot longer. It, it changed a lot of my perspectives on, on Sweden, on hockey overseas, on Europe. My perspectives on the world from last time where I was right down here back in August. I love Sweden because it, it gave me an opportunity when nobody else seemed like it would. And, and I love Sweden because it was such a good time. It was open, it was free. There's no lockdowns like there is here. And I wish I was, I was back there right now getting ready to play games any day now, but instead the season's been shut down. That's also the reason why I hate Sweden. I got mixed feelings about why I hate Sweden. I hate it because I was given an opportunity and then I had it taken away. The only thing to really do, trying to make the best of the hand you're dealt. That, that's one thing, I've talked about that like last week's video, last week's vlog is that bitching and moaning and complaining. You're dealt a certain hand of cards, make something of it. And that is the plan. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna skip my boy Tommy, Tommy Freeman. That is gonna be today's video. Anyway. You know? Good parking job today. We're in the midst of transitioning. Yeah. What are we trying to accomplish? Develop some fundamentals back into Travis and get him ready to lift some weights when the gym's open. We have no idea when that is. Nope. But we don't even know if it'll ever happen again. That again. <laughs> Let's go, Sweeney! <laughs> Alright, it's my boy Tommy Freeman, friend of the show, friend of Liam Sweeney, Papa Sweens. He's got a sweet little synthetic studio. We're skating on his outdoor session studio today. You ready That's to great. shoot some pucks? Absolutely. It's correct. Oh, my shit's off. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> it is. I'm trapped. Oh, good shot. Uh oh.
going on a date, things are going well, you're having some great conversation, things are flowing. I'll rub your back before I tell you in the second date that I have carpal tunnel and I can't do it anymore. Now it's time to get to business. Somebody wasn't using this to take care of the grass around the tree or the peach garden. The lawnmower 3.0 will fix all of your date nights. On top of saving date night, this thing will taper your jawline to make you have the Kurt Cobain look of your dreams. And you go to manscaped.com slash trap sucks at the first link in the video description, you can save 20% and get an awesome free gift. Maybe even two gifts. I didn't read the job briefing before I started this ad. And on top of all your weed whacking, lawn trimming needs, they got great body wash. It smells fantastic. Thanks again, Manscaped, for sponsoring the video. Back to the regular scheduled programming. Ad break is done. So that is the train I'm hopping on a week today to head from Winnipeg to Jasper. Also, I came straight from Tommy, so I'm just wearing pants and my knee pads and didn't even bother to shower. I'm the home dresser. Can we just appreciate, like, there's something about man-made moving objects, trains, all that kind of stuff that I've just found magical. You know, I got a pretty good idea of, of what people are gonna be saying about this upcoming travel plan that I got. And I'm not gonna go off on it by any means, but what I will say is that hockey's what I do for a living, hockey's what I love, hockey's my passion, it's been my passion since I was four years old. If I'm being honest with you, I've flown 10,000 times in my life and I'm so sick and tired of airports and planes. I wanna do something different, I wanna do something new. Via Rail in Canada has just brought back their Canadian route from Winnipeg to Vancouver. They're not even doing a route from Toronto anymore, it's just a once a week Winnipeg to Vancouver. I'm going to do what I love. And that's play the game that I love, play the game that I've been playing since I was four years old. Since my dad took an escape for the first time when I was four years old at Glenwood Arena in Winnipeg in a rink that just reeked like propane because it was so old and teaching me how to skate. And to the people that are going to be in the comment section saying you shouldn't be traveling, you should stop this, you should just stay at home. Ah uh, yes, my morning ritual. It's the greatest game on the planet, there's no doubt about it. And I'll do anything for escape. Any crazy ideas. There's lots of things that I've like to do over the next couple months with the season being canceled. Granted, there's a chance that Sweden does something where we end up playing. And I would love nothing more than to go back to Sweden and, and to finish the season and to finish what I started. But the governing officials of Sweden are not allowing us to do that. I'm gonna do what's best for my game. I'm gonna do what I love doing most importantly and playing the greatest game on this planet. I'm gonna be in Jasper skating in the mountains. I'm gonna go back to Hamilton. I'm gonna go skate with Derek Bujan. I'm gonna go back to Vancouver and try Pasco Volana. I'd love to go skate outdoors out of Whistler, up in the mountains up there and take the Via Rail, the whole trip from Winnipeg to Vancouver. Lots of cool stuff. Like one thing my dad and I have talked about and we've talked about for you know, five, six years now, going to Toronto, going to the Hockey Hall of Fame. I've been to the Hockey Hall of Fame one time myself. It wasn't with my dad. My dad's never been. I wanna go with my dad to Toronto, go check out Gretzky's restaurant for some fantastic overpriced food and take the train from Winnipeg to Toronto, you know, spend a week with my dad. Some real quality time that, you know, my dad and I haven't done a trip like that ever. Honestly, just a nice getaway from all the crazy things that are going on in today's world that I want nothing to do with. Every now and then I get a package where I just, I, I can't not show it. And I apologize in advance for mispronouncing your name, dude. Ivano Gianfrancesco? I'm really sorry. Dude's from Sudbury, Ontario, the nickel capital, Go Wolves. And this dude made these crazy freehand sketches. Like, like, look at this. Like, this dude drew this with his own two hands and sent it to me. And that's not even the impressive one. Like, holy sh! You want to talk about Jack Dawson drawing me like one of your French girls? Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Ivano, like, this is insane. And thank you very much. If you want any awesome products, including pro laces, toe ties, block, knuckle guard, or button scripts, go to the link in the description for an awesome $10 off, 10% off. Linked in the video description, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, that Jasper video, I cannot wait to share that with you. Anyway, see you then. There's hope for anything in life, but that guy's still alive. I love shaving my bush. Hey, future iPhone traveler, I'm vlogging my iPhone because this is probably one of the most important things I could ever possibly tell you. Check this out. It's a Tesla. I need one of those. Nice car. So if you do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, maybe I can afford one one time and not have to keep bitching and complaining about how I can't afford it. Anyway, see you for the next Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload.